Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. And welcome back to another episode of the Monthly Otaku Collection. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a show that I do at the end of each month where I give you guys a little recap of what my life has been like up until the last month or the last episode, plus other announcements and stuff, maybe even a special thing that you might want to stick around to the end of this video for, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're back, and uh, apologize if I seem a little bit, like, not great right now. Um, I've actually been sick for the past, like, three days, four days almost. I'm feeling much better now, but I've still got a little bit of the, the sniffles, uh, so... Definitely can't let your guard down when it comes to health, so I've just been trying to get back into my healthy state right now. As a result of that, I unfortunately didn't have enough time, or rather, I didn't have enough strength, both mental and physical, because I was so sick, to get the Halloween video out. But, uh, luckily, I will- I did get it all recorded, so... I'm hoping to release that not as a Halloween video, but just as a standalone video sometime before the end of the year, I promise you that much. And yeah, there are just a lot of exciting things that I want to announce, but before we get to any of that kind of stuff, I'm gonna do a little otaku recap, just show you some of the otaku-ish stuff that I bought, yeah? And I guess without knowing, I kind of made this month more of a nostalgia month when it comes to like some of the otaku stuff that I bought. I mainly bought two series of manga, um, and both of them I have read before. Uh, hence the nostalgia, but I I don't know why but I was just like man I really want to read these again in its entirety just because uh, like I own them back at home I mean actually one of them I didn't even own I just happened to read it at a friend's place But the other one I had it back at home in Australia, but I unfortunately couldn't bring any of my 600 manga Volumes all the way here, so I had to buy them again, but uh, luckily, you know landed Japan very convenient when it comes to buying cheap manga. So the first one that I actually got was, uh... Alright, prepare for the references. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm, I'm waiting for... Is that a motherfucking Jojo reference? I'm waiting for all those comments, so just... It's alright, I'll wait. So I didn't buy the whole thing of Jojo because I think Jojo Leon's still going to this day. Um, so I bought the first uh, six or seven volumes. Of Jojo. I mean, it's so weird because I'm still yet to finish the anime, but I was because but let's be honest I grew up reading the manga and I think the manga is way better even though the anime is amazing even after all these years It's still just an amazing story and uh, yeah I'm probably gonna buy the rest of it whenever I get the time to actually catch up on Jojo Leon the other nostalgic manga that I bought was boom you Huckshaw. I'm sure there are a lot of people who know Yu Yu Huckshaw. I don't know if there are many people who have actually read it or watched it, but I think the younger kids or the younger generation will know more about Hunter x Hunter. If you know Hunter x Hunter and you don't know this one, shame on you. Now, but basically Togashi, which is the author of Hunter x Hunter, before Hunter x Hunter, he created this masterpiece called Yu Yu Huckshaw, and it's just, it's, it's amazing. Like, everything that you find in Hunter x Hunter started with this shit. Started with this, and uh, you know, your boy had to do it when he bought the all 19 volumes. Yeah, boy! But yeah, I only got Yu Yu Hakusho like a few days ago, and I've just kind of been reading through it ever since I've been sick for the past three or four days, and it's just, I don't know, it's been a really good time, just chilling out and stuff, so. Yeah, I definitely recommend Yu Yu Hakusho and Jojo if you somehow haven't read it or watched it yet. Alright, before we get onto the figurine segment of this monthly otaku collection thing, I have actually a few small announcements to make for the end of this year. If you've been sticking around my channel since the beginning of the year, you would know that I've been to a lot of freaking conventions this year. I've traveled more than I ever, ever have, and it's so fucking cool that I'm able to do that. Guys, if it wasn't for you guys, then I wouldn't get even invited to any of these conventions, and I wouldn't be able to go travel anywhere, at least outside of Japan. So, it's really fucking cool, and I've been to so many conventions this year, but your boy's going to two more before the end of the year, boy. One of them is Connor Delete in Chicago, starting 14th of December, I believe. It's written on here somewhere. So if you're in the Chicago area or you'd like to fly up or drive up to Chicago, if you're living around Chicago, then myself, uh, Aki, Misty, and Gaijin Goomba, all four of us will be at 
uh, con alt delete. We're just gonna be celebrating a uh, an early Christmas up in the snowy, snowy, extremely fucking cold part of Chicago. So it's gonna be a blisteringly cold white Christmas for us. So yeah, the details of the con will be on the screen right now. I'll also leave a link to the website if you want to check it out. But yeah, if you're around the Chicago area, we'll see you there. And the other convention I'll be going to, which is happening before Chicago, actually it's gonna be happening at the end of this month, uh, is actually a con that I didn't think I would ever get invited to, and especially in the terms that I am going to be invited to with. So if you guys have been around since I've been doing gaming videos, then you would know that I am a huge fucking fanboy of Key Studios. If you guys don't know Key or Visual Arts, then they are the company responsible for games such as Canon, Air, Clanad, Angel Beats, Little Busters. Just all the fucking most amazing visual novel slash anime series to ever be created in my opinion. And it's true when they say that if you work long and hard enough then dreams do come true in that I will actually be attending Singapore AFA at the end of this month. I believe it starts on the 23rd or 24th. Again, uh, information is on the screen right now. I will actually be there as a guest doing a collaborative effort with visual arts or key studios. In other words, I will be there at the visual arts booth doing signings. I'll also be doing a panel with myself and the CEO of visual arts, as well as selling some really, really super exclusive merch at the visual arts booth at Singapore AFA. And I actually have uh, a few of the, I guess, mock-ups that they sent me. Uh, the first one is a little something that looks like this. I know you probably you guys have probably seen a poster of this, but you've probably never seen it in this kind of form. We also have a fucking adorable little uh, acrylic keychain. Look at that. He's like a little anime man in a pocket. I actually had this design for a very, very long time, but never knew where to use it. So there you go. Now you have a see-through pocket acrylic keychain of the little anime man, yeah. And the other piece of merch is a towel that not only has some Angel Bees characters on it, but also has a little chibi of me, which is drawn by like an official artist from Key Project. So yeah, Singapore AFA will actually be the first Southeast Asian anime convention that I'm going to. So if you're living in Singapore, or if you're going to Singapore AFA, or you live in and around Singapore AFA, then I will be there for the entire time. So not only will I be doing a panel and a signing and everything, obviously, but I'll also be walking around the convention just regularly because I've never been to Singapore either, so it's gonna be really fucking cool. A few of my friends are also gonna join me there as well, so it'll be a lot of fucking fun. So again, here's the information for Singapore AFA, or you can go down to the website, which I've linked in the description below. So if you're in Singapore, or if you're in Chicago, then I will see you guys there. All right, and last but not least, here is the most important part of the video probably, is the figurine that I bought. Now, I've shown figurines that I have bought. Uh, in past Monthly Otaku collections, but this figurine I actually received, and I received from a very, very good friend of ours from Tokyo Otaku Mode. Now, if you're at Anime Expo this year, I actually did a signing, a kind of meet and greet signing kind of thing at the Tokyo Otaku Mode booth. So I've been working with these guys for quite a while now, but it's finally gotten to the point now where not only will I be able to show off Tokyo Otaku Mode's awesome side, like just as what they're offering, but I'll also be able to hopefully give back to you guys through this uh, little cool thing. So let me show you the figurine that uh, Tokyo Otaku Mode so kindly gave to me, and uh, let me just tell you right now, it is easily the biggest fucking anime figurine that I have, period. And here it is, right? <laughs> Here. <laughs> Look at the size of this fucking thing, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a fan of the Konosuba series, here is Megumin in a bunny outfit. Megumin bunny version, uh, one to four scale printed figure. It is a giant fucking Megumin figurine in a bunny outfit. And you all know, Megumin my fucking waifu. So when I saw this, I was like, Yes, please. But this is the part where I hopefully give back to you guys, because not only did Tokyo Otaku Mode give me this giant Megumin figurine, but they actually gave me two. <laughs> one of them is for me, but the other one is actually going to be for one of you guys. That's right, if you go down to that first link in the description below, you have one week approximately to go into the draw to win 
this big ass fucking Megumin figurine. Not only that, but I also signed the box for you, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be all yours. This giant ass fucking Megumin figurine is gonna be all yours, so you'll have the privilege of being like, I have the same anime figurine that Joey had, yay! I mean, I'm sure that's not anything to brag about, but you know what I mean. So yeah, this is a thing that I've been working on with Tokyo Takuma for a very, very long time, and uh, I'm really glad that hopefully I'll be able to give back to you guys in some way for just supporting me over the years and just... You know, like, fucking, we all love anime figurines, we all love waifus, so why not share the love of the waifus to the rest of the world, eh? So again, click that first link in the description below to go into the draw, and, uh, good luck to whoever the winner is. So yeah, I know that was, like, a lot of information to kind of pack out and everything, but luckily, uh, if you made it to the end of this video, then you'll know what the hell's going on and everything, so, uh, yeah. I just want to say uh, I'm really looking forward to Singapore, I'm really looking forward to Chicago as well. I'll also be back in the US during uh, most of December and like a little bit in January, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I might just be staying at Aki's place, I have no idea what the plan is right now, but I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just glad with, with everything that's been happening this year. It's just been super fucking awesome, and again, if it wasn't for you guys, not be able to do any of this kind of stuff. And I also just appreciate the fact that you guys are patient enough, you know, even with my dumb ass getting sick and everything and, you know, completely missing out on a Halloween video. I really, really apologize for that, guys. I was really hoping to get that Halloween video out, but, I mean, hey, when, when a brother gets sick, a brother gets sick. Like, fuck, you know, I have to take care of myself first, unfortunately, but, uh, hope you guys understand. But, again, guys, uh, if you want that giant ass Mega Me figurine, click that first link in the description. Thank you again to every single one of you guys, especially to my lovely, lovely patrons who support me at the end of each month. If you like what I do and want to support me in future projects, then Patreon's the best place to do it, so go check it out. And yeah, hopefully if this giveaway goes well, we'll be able to do one every month, which would be pretty fucking cool. So if you're up for a giveaway every single month, then I guess smash that like button. Smash that like button and I guess leave a comment below of what kind of figuring you'd want to see given away next. But anyways guys, I'm gonna go back to bed, hopefully get completely healed up before anything else terrible happens to me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, as always, like your favorite if you enjoy, subscribe for more anime banner, and I'll see you guys next video of whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Daddy!